Canva brochure tutorial, how to create a brochure in Canva step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create your own brochures in Canva. So let's get into it. Now, Canva is most popularly known for logo designing or for creating presentations, but Canva is such a diverse and utilitative tool that it enables you to really create anything, especially if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of pre-existing experience in design. Canva's templates can really bring your ideas to life. So let's get started. And to get started, what we're going to do is head on over to canva.com. Now, the best part about this is that Canva is free to use. Just sign up with your email address to get started. Now, once you have signed up, we are going to go into the search bar and we are just going to search for a brochure. So there are multiple different types of brochures that you might want to create. Now, we have two different types. First off, we have a brochure that is in the landscape format, which is 11 by 8.5 inches. The second one is a 17 by 11. So the brochures can be two sizes. Obviously, you have the trifold and the bifold. It really depends on what you are looking to create. If you just search for brochure, it's going to show you templates for both sizes. So you can pick out the size that you prefer. You can also click on all filters over here and choose your designated size, style, or particular type of theme that you're looking to follow. So if I go for 11 by 8.5, which is usually the brochure size that is seen in bifold as well as trifold brochures, as well as a larger size if you want a larger brochure. But I think I'm going to go with this size because it's pretty standard. And now we are going to get started with building our brochure. Now, I want to build a brochure for mental health awareness and maybe, you know, counseling or something like that. So I am going to take something that's a little sleek and just taking a look at some of these templates, you know, there are a lot of different types of templates available. There are creative templates, simplistic, business, corporate, agency, elegant templates. So we have a lot of different options to pick out from. Now, I want to go with something that is not too text heavy that can just enable me to create a very visual element. I really like the initial template that is like this plant based th template, but Let's keep looking around to see what other kinds of options we do have. So we have a, quite a few different options, actually. This is pretty diverse considering a lot of these are available for free. Now, I really like this one as well. It's pretty nice, but it's a little text heavy for my personal taste. And I'm going to continue on over here. We have this illustrative template as well. Now, I am going to use this illustrative one and I'm just going to click on customize this template on the right to get started. Now, one thing to note about brochures is that these are going to be folded up. So always keep in mind how you're looking to fold these. Maybe this is going to be our front page and then it would be folded on top of this and then on top of this. So keep in mind that these are going to be folded up and one page is usually just for the logos and just for your business name. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe enter my logo. I'm going to use the same logo as this template. I'm just going to resize it and place it at the center. And then we're going to add mental health care or mental health. And then I'm just going to resize this text block a little mental health awareness. I'm going to add awareness as well, like this mental health awareness. I'm just going to place this right by our initial text. So it's just really neatly aligned. Moving it a little like this, selecting the bottom block as well, mental health awareness. Let's say our organization, say, let's say our organization is called BAP, or let's say it's called, I don't know, Allies Counseling, like this. And I'm just going to change the text size a little. And then I'm going to also restructure the blocks and then just resize it. I think the illustration in this is not as accurate as I would want it to be. So I am going to remove this. Then I'm going to go into elements on the left and I can just search for mental health. 
and you can find the type of illustration that you might want you can find a bunch of different things that might be more accurate to your business so you can even insert or upload your own you know illustrations that me that you might have if you have your own content logos all of that can be uploaded as well so i'm just going to add this illustration over here and then we have this give us support or i'm going to add a contact us section over here on one side of the brochure and from here i can insert our you know username social media handles phone numbers websites all of that can be inserted over here and then we have this this is how we work section now i might want to you know insert the potential counselors we might have so instead of having a this is how we work section i am going to replace this and instead i'm going to add our professionals like this just resizing the box a little and then i'm just going to place this like so and then from here i can insert images of the potential counselors we might have or you know the doctors we might have so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use um stock images of doctors but you can obviously insert the actual images of the professionals that you do have. So I can just insert this over here. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap because I don't want it to look too crowded like this. I have added the second image. I think I'm just going to keep it at two people. And I can just add, you know, this text block over here where I can add information about the potential, you know, um, doctor, psychiatrist, psychologist, whatever it might be. Now, after creating one side of our brochure, we're going to create our second side. Now, for the second side of your brochure, it's not necessary that you create, you know, a bifold, trifold style. You can go for a landscape style in this as well. Another really frequently used style is by going into frame on the left and then just search for frame over here. And I'll show you guys this alternate style in case anyone wants something a bit different. So what you're going to do is you're gonna search for frame. You're gonna place that frame over here and just place it like so just convert it into like a really rectangular shape and then just place it on the top half so you can do this like this so we're just going to expand it like so and then place it on the top and then you know the rest of the information in your brochure can be written down and you can insert a relevant image so you can insert any relevant image over here let's say i want to set this one now i can just change it like this you know whichever image you might want like this and just like that, you have a brochure ready. Now to complete your download, just click on share on the top right. And then you're going to click on download over here and you can download this as a PNG. But if you want a print, which for most brochures, you don't want to print, go for a PDF print for the best quality. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.